Welcome to Burning Bright, a weekly podcast presenting poetry and prose from Passager. On this episode, three poems for Women's History Month. Marianne L. Miller said she comes from a family that makes things. Her father was a machinist and gunsmith. Her mother knitted, crocheted, and did needlework. Her sister is a woodturner. Her grandmother made things, too. Here from Passager's 2018 Poetry Contest issue, Marianne L. Miller's Canaletto Validates My Grandmother. My grandmother said she trained as a stonemason before leaving Italy at age 20. On the voyage from Naples to New York, she climbed to the crow's nest of the steam sail ship. In psych class, I learned immigrants inflated their pasts. I learned the limitations of being female. But the Stonewall Annunziata, built with her five sons, still holds back earth on a patch of ground I visit. I researched ships that operated at the turn of the last century. They had smokestacks and sails and crow's nests. I see an exhibit by Canaletto at the Met. I buy the catalog to take a long look at In the Stonemason's Yard. There is a woman, her sleeves rolled, her face red and round, polishing a marble baptismal font. The story becomes plausible. Marianne L. Miller's poem, Canaletto Validates My Grandmother. Ellen Schmidt said her mother preferred the song America the Beautiful to The Star-Spangled Banner, the way it celebrated the splendor of the United States. So when she heard one day on the radio that it was Catherine Lee Bates' birthday, that and the 2016 presidential election inspired her to write, Oh, say, did you know? Oh, say, did you know that Catherine Lee Bates wrote America the Beautiful while on a cross-country train trip in 1893 by the dawn's early light? I read about this 33-year-old English teacher, and I began to think about how every school child learns Francis Scott Key wrote The Star-Spangled Banner, but here I am in my seventh decade and never heard of Catherine Lee Bates, and realized that the reason we have a bombs bursting in air and rockets red glare kind of song, instead of a spacious skies and purple mountain majesties kind of song, is this. How many women do you think were members of Congress in 1931 when they voted on which kind of song we prefer? And now which song we esteem cleaves us wrong and right down the middle, splitting our fruited plains and alabaster cities. We watch and work and wait at the twilight's last gleaming for the man, not crowned with brotherhood, but peaked with an orange tiara, to crumble onto the amber waves of grain and tumble into the shining sea. Oh Say Did You Know by Ellen Schmidt, also from Passager's 2018 Poetry Contest issue. Ellen said, The midwifery or midwifery of writing thrills me. Mary Stone Hanley said the rhythm of black music is inherent in her writing, passed to her through other poets, musicians, and her mother's recitations. Here's Mary Stone Hanley's poem, Trouble Don't Last. Inside the little house, no money for gas heat, the shrieking wind rattled doors and tried to bluster through any crack of hope. A street light lit a baroque of paisley ice left by Jack the Hoarfrost on the front window, an invitation to dream tales of magic in the semi-dark room. Big brother, little brother on each side, baby sister and mama's lap huddled together. Iron, toaster, and tiny heater defrosted feet and bodies bundled under molehills of woolen blankets, covers, coats, and warmth wrapped in Mama's stories exhaled on the wintry landscape of her breath. She lifted her hands before a light bulb. A bird silhouette frolicked on the wall. Baby girl asked, Are we poor, Mama? Ah, no, child. She pulled the children closer. Cold ain't nothing. All you got to do is rub two things together. Hand to heart, pen to paper, rhythm to blues. Trouble Don't Last by Mary Stone Hanley, from Passager's 2017 Poetry Contest issue. 
She said her mother's resilience and creativity inspired her as a black woman. To buy copies of Passenger's 2017 or 2018 poetry contest issues, or to subscribe to Passenger, or to learn more about Passenger and its commitment to writers over 50, go to PassagerBooks.com. You can download Burning Bright from Spotify, Apple and Google Podcasts, and various other podcast apps. For Kendra, Mary, Christine, Roseanne, and the rest of the Passenger staff, I'm John Shore. (laughs) 